I'm Sabine Graffat, the Director of Graduate Studies in Studio Art. I'm here to congratulate both undergraduates and graduates for making it to this point, your graduation ceremony. This is a time to celebrate all that you have learned and experienced, and this is a major milestone in your life, and one you should be proud and excited about. I know that right now, as you're looking for jobs and wondering how to pay the rent, it all seems challenging. I can tell you that for students who graduate from our department, the prospects are really good. As artists, we are creators, makers, and entrepreneurs. We have a broad appreciation of learning across disciplines. We are mindful, empathic, and observant. We can imagine and communicate new worlds, new ways of seeing, new methods of doing things. We inspire others. We show them what is possible. But most of all, we are doers. Artists are never bored. There's always something new to explore and construct. In your time here, you have learned to have the courage of your convictions and the self-assurance to make your voice heard because you have something important to offer the world. So don't wait for your dream to come true. Create it. Alena Mehik was born in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Her practice examines the fragile and inconsistent nature of collective memory, environment, and homeland through the personal and that of the nation state, responding to the political and cultural ephemera that shape these legacies. Her works challenge popular narratives created by citizens within the homeland and that of the diaspora, often referencing the real and imaginary spaces in which this discourse exists and thrives. Through multidisciplinary forms, her objects together enact a type of political performance, nodding to the sage rituals of diplomacy, geopolitical ideologies of a time and place ravaged by war, permanently altered, and in seeming constant flux. In some ways, Mayhick's work mirrors the collective experiences of war refugees and immigrants who struggle with grave personal losses, including cultural and political identity, and home. She locates this persistent longing to the specific time and place experienced by the post-communist individual, always searching for a familiar place that isn't there. Her gestures to socialist modern design, socialist realism, political photographs and embroidered words mimic the geographic placement and political era of a departed country. Through the intertwining of personal artifact and state propaganda, her work strategically creates visual testimony to people who have lost the country and the trauma they carry. Eleanor has been a great pleasure working with you over the last few years. I know that it turned out to be the most unusual of times to pursue a Master's of Fine Arts degree, but I'm glad you did and confident that you got the most of it, considering all the setbacks. I'm also so glad that you're getting the national recognition that your work deserves, and I look forward to seeing your creations in the years to come. Take good care of yourself, keep up the amazing work, and remember to stay in touch. Congratulations on your graduation. Congratulations. Resilient, laser focused, determined. Minu Amami Alaga is an artist who came into this program with years of experience working as an artist in Iran. What characterizes her as an individual and her practice is a kind of intense searching not simply for formal strategies and new knowledge to inform her work, but also an intense searching for the ways that her work can create quiet spaces of grief, rage, and hope. Through painting, installation, and video, Menu explores the construction of Iranian women's identity as filtered through memory, using histories of Iranian architecture as an allegory for structures of oppression. Her experiences growing up in Iran and living through the 1979 revolution and its aftermath frame the way she approaches her projects. Her visually stunning work weaves together histories of painting and photography, immersing the viewer in complex juxtapositions between landscape, 
figures, and cultural symbols. In her video-based work, she boldly addresses aspects of sexuality, freedom, and the female body through performative actions that allude to ritual and interiority. In her eloquent paintings, she moves between utilizing archival images and realistic representations to open up the space between historical narratives and personal memory, between public and private. During her two years at UNC, Minu was a merit scholar and teaching fellow, as well as a UNC Global Grads Ambassador. Minu, in the past two years, you have pushed yourself beyond what we could have possibly imagined. In graduate school, inevitably, there is always so much static, lots of noise to work through, and we have admired the way that you have stayed steadfast in your vision while remaining joyfully open and eager to always listen and learn. Seeking knowledge and ways to communicate your ideas is deeply ingrained in you. You are a consummate and veteran learner, and it has been a total pleasure for your entire committee to work with you. Manu, it was such a pleasure working with you these last two years. And in many ways, it was a whirlwind. It went by way too fast, and there was plenty of challenges along the way. I really want to acknowledge the ways in which you transformed your practice into what was primarily painting and sculpture into hybrid forms that expanded into video and performance. You took such great care and detail into creating this visual language that you were so steadfast in creating to give visibility to your experiences and your mindfulness as an Iranian woman artist. I really look forward to seeing what the future holds for you and I look forward to keeping in touch and a huge congrats to you on receiving your MFA. Minu, you're going away, I'm so sad. You did such a great job. I'm so proud of you. Your work is amazing. I can't wait for you to go to Providence and meet a lot of cool people and keep doing your work. And I'll see you soon. When she applied to our program, Shada already had a solid practice in her home country of Iran. We were initially intrigued with Shada's drawings in her application portfolio. They were evocative dark landscapes with hints of figural reference. Once she arrived at UNC, Shada's work evolved with more overt references to the body. I was immediately impressed at her ambition and risk-taking. Much of Shada's work centers on the sensual and sensory body, with a specific focus on distinctions between pleasure and pain. As her ideas followed this path, it became clear to Shada that her practice needed to expand to include an exploration of installation and sculptural forms. She forged ahead with this challenge, despite having to tackle a formidable technical learning curve. Unfortunately, because of the pandemic, UNC had to shut down most of the sculpture facility. So, while grad students still had access to their individual studios, the ability to make three-dimensional work in the art lab was significantly impacted. This, however, did not stop Shada. With resourcefulness and resilience, she found a way to pursue her interests, never allowing a setback to get in her way. I am in awe of her ability to take on these challenges. She does so willingly with determination and grace. Shada's creative practice begins with an intuitive haptic approach. She understands her work and its potential to elicit a range of emotion through the very act of making. Shada is not afraid to imagine big as she trusts her skills and problem-solving ability to just figure out how to engineer something or secure the permissions or help needed to realize her goal. And she commands a strong understanding of how her form and material choices impact the work. With this understanding emerging from her maker's body, she examines her suppositions and refines her ideas, anticipating a viewer's encounter with the work. Congratulations, Shada. Shada? You are amazing. I'm gonna miss having you around for sure. Your work is incredible and I know you're gonna continue to thrive professionally. Congratulations on getting your MFA. I wish you all the best of luck 
in this next chapter of your life. Take care. Shada, I joined your MFA journey a bit late, but I am so glad I did. I have enjoyed every moment I've gotten to spend with you. Our conversations in the studio have been so rewarding. It's been truly remarkable to see you push through logistical challenges to really accomplish what you wanted to accomplish in the studio. Your projects have been ambitious in scale and scope, and I am so proud of you and can't wait to see where you take your work next. Congratulations and happy graduation. Vani Smith is an artist whose background and experiences growing up in urban Milwaukee inform both the content and concepts driving his work. He is compelled by questions around race and representation, using narrative strategies to consider how we understand and come to know ourselves and our history through the personal, social, and political. Working in video, photography, and installation, Vani's work combines both live action and archival images to draw us into the historical and cultural references that frame his storytelling. In the last year, Vani began a web and installation project called There's Black People in Milwaukee. The installation includes a growing archive of informal interviews with family and friends in Milwaukee, photo collages using found and family images, a soundtrack, and a text-based wall mural created using blackout poems using the script for a tourist video for Milwaukee produced in the 1950s. These poems were also sourced from family and friends. The project challenges racial narratives about this Midwest town while claiming spaces for the complexities of black experiences and the migration histories that are invisible to our present. Vani's work is ultimately about black liberation and the urgency to make space for possible radical futures. In his time at UNC, Vani was the Weiss Urban Livability Fellow and was awarded an artist residency at the Power Plant Gallery at the Center for Documentary Studies at Duke University. This year, he also received a commission to develop a documentary with the Southern Foodways Alliance. Vani, you are a truly humble and thoughtful learner. It has been amazing to watch you grow over these past two years, experimenting with new visual strategies and new materials to try to get at what would be your own visual language, a language steeped in resonant vernacular. These past two years have been incredibly challenging for each artist in different ways. And Vani, you have persisted and persisted and persisted with so much grace, with so much care, and with so much kindness. You are an extraordinary individual and artist, and we are so proud of all that you have accomplished and are so excited to see all that you will accomplish in the future. Congratulations, Vani. Vani, I so enjoyed working with you these last two years at UNC and learned so much from our conversations about your work, including in the complex ways in which the richness of your life, your families, and your community were intricately bound to the overwhelming history of institutional racism and violence in our country. These last years have been so challenging, and yet you continue to create and transform your work with incredible discipline and dignity and grace. And I continue to learn from you and your practice. And I look so forward to seeing what the future holds for you. Um, a huge congrats to you on receiving your MFA, and I look forward to keeping in touch. Congratulations, Vani. You've made it through the other side. I know. You faced a lot of challenges, but you were so resilient. And I learned so much from you while you were here at the program. So thank you. I think you made truly amazing art, truly compassionate art. And I'm so happy for you. Um, I know you're going to go on to do much bigger and better things. So good luck. And yes, yeah, so happy for you, man. Every year, the MFA in Studio Art Graduate Committee invites an outside curator to select a student for the MFA Studio Art Prize. This year, I'm so happy to announce that the prize will be given to Vonnie Smith. Amy L. Powell on Vonnie Quest for the MFA Art Prize. Vonnie Quest's work advances a loving and layered aesthetic 
His five minute video, Meditation on Migration slash Opportunity Zone, tracks narratives of black American movement and experiences of discriminatory development in Milwaukee by using found footage, voiceover, and visible signs of his research process. Quest's videos, photographic collages, and interventions with text offer multiplicity, overlaying family photo albums with city scenes and the kitchen table, for instance, but also ensuring room for the spaces between images and for what goes unsaid. Quest's work communicates his clear position as someone within and committed to community. Complex and moving, Quest's work honors how knowledge is shared through generations. Congratulations, Bonnie. As chair of our committee, it is with great pleasure to introduce Krista Saw as part of the graduating Masters of Fine Arts class of 2021. Has the self-care industry kept us well enough to still feel vulnerable? Master of Fine Arts recipient Krista Saw's thread of inquiry explores the contradictions of living within these economic and cultural systems that exist in paradox, serving to bathe us with homemade glycerin soaps while strip mining the earth for pink Himalayan salt. While the specific treatments and materials that Krista gathers from around the world and across cultures are not ones we may have personally experienced, like a modern day alchemist, she conjures up objects, spaces, and experience that serve self-care as a form of self-preservation. Before her work, we were reminded to consider time, the primordial oozing up to the ground, the generational potions, plants, tinctures, tonics that have been passed down through generations, and the present, the moment in which we, the audience, engage with the smells of their organic treatments, the tender whispers of steam and fog, the lull of distant whales or tides, grounding us in a very visceral deep moment of the now. In her performances, she harnesses the moment that we catch her live broadcast on Twitch, sending out cures through the ether and mobilizing the viewer through the simple act of a self-treatment. All this work is distilled into a single essence, a concept of care and healing that is embodied in her process, the way that she wants the work to be practiced and lived. Challenging the very contemporary question can we truly be cured? In speaking for a committee, we're so proud of what Krista's accomplished. We appreciate the fluidity of her research interests, her openness to make unique and unconventional connections across time and subject matter, her willingness to dive in and allow intuition to guide her studio practice has produced a thesis exhibition that is materially and conceptually rich. And despite the limitations that this past year has presented, she has found a way to pivot and create dynamic multimedia work and experiences. We share a passion for her work and know you will too. And we're proud to call Krista a colleague. Congratulations, Krista. Krista, you have created one of the most magical and transformative installations I have ever seen in the Alcott Gallery. You truly are an artist alchemist and it's been so rewarding to watch you grow and challenge yourself over these past two years. You not only pushed yourself in your research knowledge, but also in the material and formal processes that you needed to know to pull off such a complex and meaningful installation that operates on so many different levels. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations and happy graduation. Congratulations, graduates. You, your family, your friends and mentors, and everyone that supported you in your endeavors to reach this point are so very excited to be celebrating your achievements. Each spring, we look forward to the moment when we can celebrate you and all that you have accomplished in your time with us. And though we cannot be gathering in person as a department this year, we are with you in spirit. Moreover, we are especially aware of and proud of your success in having attained this goal during the difficult conditions of the pandemic and the disruptive circumstances of the unlearning environment over the course of the past 15 months. Well done. As we move back towards more interactions with one another, it will be time for the arts to shine. I'm having more frequent conversations with colleagues on campus and nationally 
reading more regularly about how absolutely vital the arts will be to help our society process everything we've been through, to move through and beyond it into our new way of life, whatever that may look like. This is your future as new artists and scholars of art. This is your possibility. This is what you have worked so hard to move toward. This is the world full of potential and ready for your contribution. It is daunting, but exciting time to be moving forward. Enjoy those prospects. Congratulations and best wishes in whatever you do. Congratulations! Congratulations. Congratulations.